you guys. Thank you so much for joining me back here in Lily's Hair Kitchen. Now, the first oil that we're going to start with today is the coconut oil, and it should be virgin and unrefined, and that's what you guys are going to want to get. I get mine's, and I believe it's, don't want to lie, it's either, I think it's like $7.99, and you can use food stamps, actually, to get this too, um, and as you can see, it's 100% organic, virgin, and unrefined, and I get it at Target. So, as you guys can see, I mean, I bought a new one, but I do use, I do use my coconut oil. <laughs> I do. But, yeah, and sometimes you get, like, a little yellowing at the bottom. Don't be weirded out. It's just because of it melting and then solidifying and then melting and solidifying. So, yeah. Um, but this is, like, the best stuff. Like I said, you can get it with food stamps. Any oil, cooking oils, because it's considered a cooking oil. So that's the reason that um, I use my food stamps to get it. Um, the next oil that I want to talk about today would be the 100% grapeseed oil. And it's you know vitamin E and everything and the reason I love grapeseed oil is because it's extremely light oil um, I like it more than any other oil I do like jojoba oil as well so, you know the reason I like jojoba oil is because it mimics your natural oils from your actual scalp um, but I don't have like a lot of stores around me where they, they would sell that so and sometimes I don't feel like in the places that I do sell is like GNC Vitamin Shop. And it is still a regular oil. It's a cooking oil. But you can't use your food stamps there because they don't take food stamps at those places. You know what I mean? So, and they don't sell jojoba oil at Target or anything like that. Only just the regular ones. So, the grapeseed oil is would be the next best one for me besides jojoba oil, which is my first, you know, my primary. But this is my next primary, the grapeseed oil. And the reason I like it is because it is lightweight. It does um, penetrate your hair. And it does make it very shiny. So does the coconut oil. But I do feel that coconut oil can actually still seep out of your hair um, at some point. The actual hair strand. But the grapeseed oil seems like it's, it stays in your follicle longer. And that's because grapeseed oil, um, the benefits of it, there's a lot of different benefits. But the main one that I really like about the grapeseed oil is the fact that it holds in moisture. It's known for doing that, holding in the moisture. And a lot of people say about olive oil, it holds in the moisture too and everything. But the reason that olive oil even holds in moisture is because it's a heavier oil. And I do use olive oil too. Well, that's the olive oil that I use, and um, I don't always get mine from Walgreens. So you don't have to get it from Walgreens all the time. The Delish um, brand, you don't have to. Um, that's just the bottle that it, it was in. But honestly, the olive oil that's in there isn't even from there. It's from Target. Um, it's just extra virgin olive oil, as you know. Um, same thing like I did. I use food stamps with that as well. So, yeah, those are pretty much all the oils that I use in my hair. I don't like to use a lot of different ones. Only other thing that I would use and what is really an oil is this it's aloe vera juice in here. And you can actually get this from Walmart. Yeah, so that is the picture of the aloe vera juice jug. And I get it for at Walmart for $5.99. You can get it from the pharmacy section, like where they would have um, like health bars and stuff like that. So, like if they have like slim fast bars and stuff like that, yeah. So it would be in that in that area. And so that's where I would get that aloe vera juice from. And I still got that big old jug. It's um now it's actually going going down a little bit more because I actually been using it a lot, pretty much every day. Um, lately it's just been water that I just been spraying my hair, just regular water because sometimes your hair just needs regular water. But I don't do that every single time. Um, a lot of the time I like to use aloe vera juice, especially if I'm using a new product that might you know mess with my scalp a little bit or whatever. It helps aloe vera juice helps to inflame things, things that are inflamed or swollen or sore or whatever. It's supposed to help them, I guess. Um, and it's just really good for your your hair and everything like that because the minerals, and vitamins, and stuff that is in aloe and it has like a cooling effect to your to your scalp as well. So that's the next thing. And I always get my little bottles from the Up and Up brand, as you can see, Up and Up. That's the Target brand. Um, it's a 99 cent little bottle, right? I, you know, sometimes you need to buy like two or three of them because it's in the 99 cent, so you do get what you pay for, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all that I would uh, put in my hair when it comes to like oils or like little homemade sprays or something like that. Mm -hmm.